In this how to video we are going to learn how to change the skin of the ASP.NET control dynamically. There might be a scenario where uh, you have a label control and based on certain conditions uh, you have to change the foreground color of the label. Uh, for example, if you have to display a successful message then that uh, label uh, text should appear into the green color and if uh, there is an error occurred then you have to display the uh, label text in the red color. So in that kind of scenario what you can do is that you can simply change the skin dynamically from the code behind and you will achieve this purpose. So let me I'll show you how to do that. So first what we are going to do is that we are going to create a skin file and in that skin file we are going to place the uh, la label skins. So let me copy and paste it. So here you can see that I have a skin file under default theme and I'm going to copy paste my three labels here. So my first label ID skin ID is label skin whose border shell is dotted and border color is brown and then my second skin, uh, label skin is label yellow skin whose back color is yellow four color is red and uh, border style is dotted and border color is brown and then we also have a th third control for the text box this is f basically for the text box where we have written that skin id is text box skin and uh, border style is dotted and border color is brown so in this skin file we have a skin for three a skin for two controls so one is label and one is text box for the label we have two skins one is a label skin and second is label yellow skin now what we are going to do is that we are going to create one ASPX page and on ASPX page we are going to copy paste this code okay so let me go ahead and create one ASPX page so I think I already have ASPX page okay and on this ASPX page I am going to copy paste the code so let me copy paste and show you how it is looking like so this is the first label and in this first label we have specified skin id equal to label skin okay it means that the first one so its borders should be dotted and border color should be brown and for the second label we have not uh, written any skin id okay and then we have a text box control whose skin id is te text box skin you can see this one and then we have another text box which is skin id is not defined okay now let me copy the, uh, the code of the code behind page so here is my code behind let me go back and this now as you might have seen earlier that either a skin or the themes can be applied into the page pre INAT event so that's what I have done now by default uh, because this uh, uh, LBL message it means that this has skin ID as label skin okay so it should appear into the border style as dotted and border color as brown so let me first comment all these codes and let me first show you this so let me run this default.aspx page remember that in the default.aspx page we are using default theme means this this thing under under which we have the skin file so let me run the default.aspx page okay now here you can see that this is the first label and uh, it's tick, uh, it's it is appearing to the border style dotted and border color as brown you can see this border style dotted and border color as brown now because we are changing the skin ID of this particular label okay to label yellow skin so what will happen its background color will change to yellow foreground color red and border style dotted and border color brown so you can see that now its background color will change to yellow you can see this one so this is the way to basically uh, change the skin uh, ID of the control and dynamically from the code behind now in the same way you can see that for the text box I have a skin ID as text box skin for the first text box so that's what is appearing it is appearing with the border and for the second text box we do not have anything so it is not appearing now in case we want to specify the skin ID for the second text box as well then we can also do that from code behind so for example I can just go ahead and uh, specify its skin 
like that now what will happen the second text box will also be applied with this skin you can see that now section second text box is also appearing in the brown border and dotted border